The question is, under your consideration, do you think the first consciousness or superconsciousness is it absolute or evolving? Given that we are co-creators of the universe, as you mentioned earlier, is that consciousness or superconsciousness absolute, meaning it does not allow for evolution, or is it evolutionary? Are we co-creating and adding even more consciousness to that superconsciousness? Very good question. The supraconsciousness is holistic with the primary consciousness. The primary consciousness outside the universe we cannot comprehend or define. Because if we try to define the primary consciousness, we box it in with our limitations. It is beyond our comprehension, and our superconsciousness is holistic in relation to this primary consciousness. It is perfect in all respects. What happens is that our local consciousness evolves, determining our future karma and our history. How are they connected? I wonder if you've heard of Roger Penrose's fascinating work, Nobel Prize winner in 2020 for his work on black holes. Then Stuart Hameroff, a psychiatrist and anesthetist at the University of Arizona, USA. They refer to microtubuli. Microtubuli are the microstructure, the cytoskeleton of eukaryotic cells in neurons, featuring a helical structure formed by a protein, alpha and beta tubulin. And it is exactly within these microtubules where the superconsciousness connects with local consciousness. In other words, it is where quantum transfer occurs between our supraconsciousness and local consciousness. Our brain and local consciousness, which evolves and is influenced, is your identity, the ego, the local consciousness, is likened to an interface. Our brain is like a television set. A television set receives electromagnetic waves of information from studios and transforms this information into image and sound. Our brain and local awareness receives flawless information from the supraconsciousness via microtubules from Roger Penrose, transforming it. This is where our superconsciousness links with our consciousness. This is clearly shown today, clearly. Initially, there was a lot of debate about Roger Penrose and Stuart Hameroff's explanation, but today, you know that quantum biology is completely accepted. 